Welcome to this how-to video for Zoom Text 10. Today we're going to walk you through how to use the Zoom Text Camera feature. Zoom Text Camera is an incredible new feature that allows you to use any high-definition webcam to view and magnify printed items and other objects right on your computer screen. Let's go ahead and take it for a test drive. First, make sure that you've connected your camera to an open USB port on your computer. Once the camera has been detected, You'll see the buttons on the ZoomText user interface light up, informing you that it's been connected. Note, if you're using a laptop or have more than one camera connected to your computer, click the camera heading or click the tools menu and go down to camera and choose the appropriate device from the drop down menu and click OK. For best performance and clarity, we recommend the camera be no more than four inches above the printed material you're trying to read. Now that your camera is ready, Let's click on the dock button to take a look at the split screen view. Here we can see what our camera is looking at on half of the screen, and on the other half, simultaneously view our desktop with zoom text. Notice that a new toolbar opens, allowing you to control the camera. The zoom plus and zoom minus buttons allow you to zoom in and out of your image. Next to the power buttons are the different viewing options. We'll cover full screen a little later, so for now, we'll walk through the docked and rotate controls. If you have a document under your camera that's upside down or sideways, you can always move the sheet of paper under the camera manually, or you could simply click the rotate button and rotate the camera images 90 degrees clockwise. Pressing the dock button will allow me to move the camera image to the top, right, bottom, or left hand side of the screen. The next and most powerful part of the camera feature are the enhancements. Notice the color icon, which, similar to the zoom text color enhancement, offers several high contrast color filtering modes, including black on white, blue on white, white on black, yellow on black, white on blue, and yellow on blue. The next and maybe most important feature in camera is the clarity control. This allows you to change the brightness and contrast of the camera to achieve optimal viewing. This can make a dramatic difference in rooms with poor lighting or too much light. We're going to show you a demonstration of what might occur if you get a hot spot from a light source showing up on the camera screen. Notice how there is a washed out area of the screen that is causing the image to be very hazy. Click on the clarity button and check the box to enable brightness and contrast setting and then we'll adjust the brightness control first and then move on to the contrast control. This will allow for very bright whites and dark black colors on screen. Now that the clarity controls have been optimized for our lighting environment, Let's go check out the other filters and see how much they've improved. I'm going to show you a quick before and after by disabling and enabling the clarity settings so you can see how much of a dramatic difference this setting can make. Lastly, we have the focus button, which allows you to change the camera to a manual focus setting. By default, many HD webcams have a built-in autofocus lens, but sometimes these cameras may not autofocus immediately or struggle to focus on certain material. If we click on the focus icon and check Enable Manual Camera Focus, you can drag the slide bar to manually adjust the focus. Click OK to lock in the focus once you have it set. As long as the length between the camera and your object isn't changing, you won't have to change the setting multiple times. Now let's go ahead and take a look at full screen mode. Before we enter full screen, a dialog box pops up on screen to let us know that we're entering full view, and since the camera toolbar will not be visible, it lists all of the camera hotkeys. If you don't want this message to show up in the future, check the Do Not Show Me This Again checkbox and click Continue. 
Once in full view, you'll notice that the camera view is taking up the entire screen. From here, you can use hotkeys to help you control the camera. Control Windows up arrow will allow you to zoom in, while Control Windows down arrow will allow you to zoom out. Turning the color filter on and off is accomplished by pressing Alt, Win, Spacebar. And if you want to cycle through all the color schemes, press Alt, Windows key, S. If your image is upside down, just press Control Win R to rotate the camera image. You can also toggle manual focus on and off by pressing Control Win M, and pressing Control Win right or left arrow will allow you to adjust the focus. Want to adjust those clarity settings while in full view? Pressing Alt Win C will turn the clarity settings on and off. while Alt Win Up and Down arrow will adjust the brightness, and contrast can be adjusted by pressing Alt Win Left and Right arrow. If you ever get stuck and want to reset the brightness and contrast, just press Alt Win R. You can easily switch between docked and full view by pressing Control Win Spacebar. When you're ready to exit full view, simply press escape or control win enter to exit the camera entirely. AI Squared will be selling affordable camera and stand bundles. The first features a clamp-on design that easily attaches to the edge of any desk or table. The other is a weighted tabletop version that comes with a thin, lightweight metal plate embossed with the ZoomTex logo. Both stands come with a flexible arm that easily detaches for maximum portability. This adjustable arm fits into either stand. We do offer a package that includes one of each stand. Both stands can be adjusted to accommodate small and large items, even items that would not fit under a conventional CCTV. Each bundle includes the Logitech C615 HD webcam. For more information, or to purchase your own copy of ZoomTex 10, visit our website at www.aisquared.com or call us toll-free at 800-859-0270.